Welcome back to the show, everyone. Today and this week in Red Dead Online, we have essentially what are extended discounts from last week, which we will review very shortly. But I also want to discuss some other news going on in the Rockstar game space and how it can and already is affecting us players. So if you enjoy this video at any point or if you just find it helpful, let me know by dropping a like on this video. And if you'd like to stay up to date and in the loop with everything Red Dead Redemption 2 and Red Dead Online, consider hitting that subscribe button with your bell notifications turned on. Alright, so real quick to go through everything here, I just wanted to wait until to see if we just got some sort of news wire today because we knew some bonuses and discounts from last week were getting extended, but I wanted to be absolutely sure in case Rockstar was going to add any extra free rewards or items for unlocks. Usually we see that stuff in the news wire and we can't confirm that early in the morning at around 4 a.m. Central Time when we see the tunables update and the game changes actually take effect for us players. But starting off at the gunsmith, we have 30% off the varmint rifle still. This is best used for all small Small animals. It deals 23.4 damage to 18.1 damage depending on the range you're shooting at and it has overall poor combat applications unless you're going for headshots. The damage does drop off sooner than other long arms as well so keep that in mind and it has a shorter lethal headshot range meaning even if you can get headshots and one shot headshots at point blank range with the varmint rifle or even medium range if you're trying to hit someone really far away like at sniper rifle range with the varmint rifle and you're hitting them in the head it's not going to kill them outright. But overall it has a decent fire rate and it can be used to tranquilize animals with sedative ammo. We also have 30% off the Navy Revolver, which deals 41.8 damage, and it's the most accurate of all revolvers in the game. The greatest advantage it has in PvP because you can deal consistent damage per second, even at those slightly longer ranges that players may be firing at you from. The only downsides are it has a slower reload speed, and it only has a six-shot capacity, which is normal for most revolvers but the Lamat. But this just means, keep in mind, with the fast fire rate, that you'll be stuck reloading it often. So I can find it would be easily replaced with the Lamat Revolver or the Schofield you know, anything like that. Any revolver is going to work well for PvE. But over on at the stable, we still have the 40% discount on all American paint horses and 30% off all roll improved saddles and saddle bags. What I would recommend here is you just get the collector saddle bag if you have that roll so you can store your seven outfits because upgraded and improved saddle bags give you five outfit slots and normal saddle bags only give you three. So the collector saddle bag is definitely the move. It's a nice brown color, so it's neutral and it would fit really with any saddle, any horse, and any outfit overall. And then if you're looking for roll improved saddles, they're all pretty good, but if you're looking for something that's more like the Nakadocha saddle with insane stamina drain rate prevention, the Upland saddle is going to be worth it for you if you're already not using the Nakadocha saddle with the hooded stirrups. In terms of stamina drain prevention on its own, the Upland actually has more than the Nakadochas. The Nakadochas gives you 35%, the Upland gives you 50 But of course, you put the hooded stirrups on the Nakadochas because you're able to customize them. That's an extra 50% for a combined total of 85% less stamina drain, whereas the Upland, you can't modify those stirrups. So you're just stuck with the 50%, which is still very good overall, just not as good as the Nakadoches and Hooded Stirrup combo. We also have the 30% off the Bounty Wagon discount. This is great if you're looking to take down four man bounties or six man bounties as a solo player or with a posse. You don't need to get a whole bunch of horses together to bring these bounties to justice. You could just throw them in the back of the wagon. It's sturdy. The horse isn't really going to die unless a player probably shoots it and destroys your wagon. And then 30% off all stalls. If you're looking to just get more horses like those discounted American Paint horses or anything else, those stalls are discounted this week. Over on at the fence, 40% off every single ammo crafting pamphlet. This includes the Express Explosive Ammo Pamphlet, the Fire uh, Shell pamphlet for the shotguns, the explosive slugs, dynamite arrows. Those are ones I would all recommend you get. You need to be higher levels to purchase those, but if you're getting up above the level 100s at this point and you still don't have these pamphlets, it's probably worth looking into as you probably have the trader roll and you're going to want some explosive ammo to protect yourself when you're doing your long distance deliveries, just in case a solo player wants to come along and try to either blow up your supplies or kill you and then take your supplies and steal them and then you lose out. Or if it's a posse, you can go down fighting. Now, over on at camp, these are more of simple discounts and Nothing really super stat changing, but we have 40% off all camp dogs and also 40% off all camp themes, including all roll camp themes for bounty hunter, trader, and collector. Over on at Gus's, you can find 40% off all clothing at his store. Harriet's, you can get 40% off the sedative varmint rifle pamphlet. This is one I would say is just not worth it. Most pamphlets from the fence are worth it, and I would say you definitely collect them all eventually. But when it comes to Harriet's pamphlets and the sedative varmint rifle pamphlet, don't get it. You're going to be putting so much work into crafting those sedative rounds, spending so much time on them, needing to find your valerian root or find your prairie poppy, which only like one herb will craft one bullet and one round. So it's really not worth it. Just buy 200 rounds for $8. 
And then with the general store, you also have 40% off all ponchos, and there is a discount for 40% off all ability cards in the game. Now, some other news I wanted to talk about from this week and basically what's going on today is I wanted to make sure GTA Online's tuners update, Los Santos tuners update released today. I haven't checked it out in game. This isn't really supposed to be necessarily about that GTA update itself, but more so how it affects Red Dead Online. Usually on Tuesdays, we find both games get that type of update. GTA Online is supposed to get their updates on Thursday, Red Dead on Tuesday, and this has changed for a while, and it's been that way for a while when actually it used to be flip-flopped. But anytime Red Dead or now GTA gets a major DLC like the Cayo Perico heist and the Los Santos tuners update, and I'm pretty sure the summer special as well last year but um, I can't totally confirm that off the top of my head these were all coming out on Tuesdays now so that necessarily isn't a surprise but I was just kind of hoping to see maybe we'd get some free items and rewards in game to check out and that's kind of why I held off on the video I went out and got some wings and beers last night just supposed to go out for dinner have a few drinks and then that turned into several drinks and then that turned into walking down the street to the bar and drinking more so I woke up late today but uh, hopefully you can excuse that. The other thing I want to talk about is Rockstar's most recent crackdown on single player mods. This is something that they said they don't have an issue with officially. And of course, a company can surely change their mind on this. But with their official support article, with their corporate stance on this, it still says that they support people modding single player, coming up with cool stuff because they find it really cool to see what the community does with their games and their products. And if they have an issue with it now, they need to change that official support article and make an announcement officially that says like we're stopping supporting this stuff because there are people who are putting tons of money and tons of time into creating different types of mods or network frameworks and all this different type of stuff and they may not necessarily know that Rockstar has officially changed their stance on this stuff and they can get in big trouble because they're violating Rockstar's either end user license agreement, the terms of service for social club, whatever it may be. And so it's disappointing to see Rockstar take this issue with single player mods in the first place. You know, if someone wants to create a massive giant Arthur to pick trains up off the world and then eat them or throw them at people, like let them do that because it's single player and it's fun. Completely different than online modding, which usually involves a lot of griefing, game crashing, all of that stuff. It's not single player modding really can't be toxic but like i said i mean if they're changing their stance here they have to let us know at the very least because they can't just keep silent and say oh yeah it's all good for you to mod single player games you know mod max pain 3 on pc mod gta 4 on pc and like the very very old like san andreas gta 3 but then when people share their mods with their friends or post it on websites for people to download for free because they made this mod then rockstar is going to send a dmca takedown to them they may lose their account on that website and you know they have other mods from other games that they have stored on there in the cloud those may get taken down as well like this affects people so they need to let us know but whatever the case is i will keep you guys up to date on that we're gonna wrap things up right here hopefully you all enjoyed the video today and hopefully i earned your like on it and of course if you are new to my channel and you'd like to stay up to date with all the best read that online and rockstar games content consider hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss out on a single thing we consistently talk about updates news information tips tricks and even leaks and we'll keep you guys updated here on the channel daily so make sure you hit that subscribe button if you'd like to follow me over on twitch twitter and instagram those are the best places to get connected with me outside of youtube and you're more than welcome to ask many questions on there you can follow me at hazardous hdtv and all of my social media links can be found in the description down below that being said thank you all so much for watching Hope you all have a fantastic day, and I will see you guys in the next Red Dead online video. Adios, amigos.